Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy GSC Capo, man. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. You got ATK Scotty and shit up in the uh, interrogation room. I already seen some video. This nigga ain't even say shit, boy. So when I say speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil, was a motherfucking person, nigga, it be him. I'm telling your ass, boy, that nigga ain't say shit. That boy was in there acting incoherent than a motherfucker. Like, he act like he ain't hear shit they was saying. He put his word, he, he said what he said, and he was like, I ain't hearing you, though. Man's focus was everywhere else. Fidgeting with his hands and shit. Well, that's that PTSD. We see Chief Keith with the, uh, psychiatrist and shit. Playing the whole fidgeting with the fingers and shit, playing with the fingers because niggas been through shit. That's what they do to try to hide their motherfucking uh, emotions and shit. Yeah, niggas do fidget with their fingers and hands a lot when they be, you know what I'm saying, sitting there talking. I ain't gonna lie. Scotty, like, man, look, bro, they keep bringing me here, bro. I ain't even, look. He like, I ain't even talking, bro. These niggas still bringing me here. <laughs> Chill, bro. That shit's crazy. That nigga sitting there like he just thugging it out. Yeah, that nigga Scotty here. Yeah, they always having them sitting there mad long in interrogation rooms and shit. I ain't gonna make it too long, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna skip through some of this. See what happens when they pop up. We do like little 10 second skips and shit, you feel me? But yeah, well, he getting. Well, he been boiled, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what the fuck? Like these niggas tweaking, bro. Take me back to myself. My nigga need his hair done or something. Cut something. Shit, woofing.
boy, this uh, boy, he tired. I'm not saying this was supposed to be a fun place anyway, but I'm just saying. You know he would, man. They gonna come in. Okay. They come in around 13 minutes. Constitution. You don't have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand? Yeah. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yeah. You have the right to talk for, to a lawyer for advice before you make any make a statement before any questions are asked of you and have a lawyer with you during any questioning. Do you understand? Yeah. Was that yes? Sorry. Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, we'll be appointed for you for any questioning if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah. And if you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult the lawyer. Do you understand? I'm not saying this to insult you or anyway, uh, but we have asked. You can read right. <laughs> okay, can read right? Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, if you can do me a favor and just sign I this, hope you do. Is that you understand your rights is over them on paper. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to if you want to. Okay. You want to sign it? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> um. Oof, been a long couple months, sorry. Um, how's, like, seriously, how's the general been? I know it's been crazy over all COVID stuff. But, like, have you been on any of those floors? You good? I'm mm good. -hmm. Um, so, uh, did you happen to see anybody you know recently over that jail? Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, what floor are you on? I'm on six, bro. Okay, you on six. Um, he won't say no serious so like he's lying, bro. Yeah, he said nah, man. Talk to you. We talked about. Um, sorry, one second. Uh, talking about stuff in January. Um, basically, um, it's coming to our attention that you may be more involved in something than we previously knew. So I just got to get your side of the story because um, I got evidence that's telling me one thing. I got witnesses that tell me one thing. And I also got other additional stuff that's telling me one thing. And I also got video that's telling me one thing. So this is your best time to tell me your side of the story about January and what happened. And I'm just trying to give you the opportunity. Okay. You don't know? or. Mm -hmm. Um, you ever been in the Great Nissan before? You ever been in the Great Nissan? Like a small, like, silver looking sedan? Mm -hmm. Do you, you remember that phone number you had back in January? You were. Do you remember what phone you had back in January? Uh, 
sorry, I'm late. <laughs> um, I'll put it to you this way. You're, you keep going down this route when I'm just trying to give you your time to explain your side. Um, you're going to end up doing some time for somebody else when it was kind of clear that you may not, you might be the least involved in all of this, but still you were there. So, like I said, this is your time to tell me your side of things. I don't need to talk. I don't need to worry. All right, you want to worry? That's fine. Um, before I walk out of the room, I do have to tell you, you're being arrested for murder. Um, we talked to uh, Blue and Casey yesterday, and they're next door, so. Give me a few minutes, I have to do paperwork. I was like that was gonna make him start talking and shit. Like, boy, this nigga was quiet the whole damn time. He already know where he being from. Look, and he look up at the camera like, mm hmm. They really put a camera in the motherfucking outlet. They'll never plug nothing up to that outlet. They let everybody know where they cameras at. Fucking cops are smart. I'm telling you, man. They real smart. FBI, CIA, and stuff like that. They, they, those niggas are smart. But these police officers, yeah, they smart, all right. Goddamn police officers, man. The same niggas your eyes went to school with. See them FBI agents and CIA agents, bro? It be them niggas your eyes never seen before. Or you probably never paid attention to really. But these police officers, man, these be the retards that be in motherfucking school sometimes, man. Fucking stupid ass dickheads. They still don't got no common sense. Goddamn tactics that they be coming with, coming up with, coming with using and shit. Like, hell no, nah, you don't go sit down somewhere with that shit. Might as well go toss your badge over the fucking roof, nigga. Go house that, I mean, go roof that bitch, nigga. Like, man's got his badge for no reason. He ain't solved nothing. Last night he said, I know what you did. And he didn't, like, why would you say all of that, bro? You done. Look, bro, this boy could put up a whole motherfucking fight against this shit and actually win. From that last motherfucking interrogation, bro. Like, they crazy. Let me see when they come back up in here, bro. Because they bugging. They just got this nigga sitting here. I had this nigga sitting here for like 40 minutes for nothing. Too much for some damn legs, bro. Like, all of that for the like, bro. Y'all niggas is tweaking, bro. It's 2022, man. There's no way y'all need all of that on a nigga, bro. There's no way. Snapchat photos and stop sending me them damn messages. Ah, right, yo. This shit crazy, man. <coughs> Look, I don't know Scotty too well, but free that nigga ATK Scotty, man. Seem like he hold his own, man. He don't say shit. He about his motherfucking business. He step on shit. He stand on his motherfucking ten toes. He ain't snitching on nobody. He's solid. 
Oh, yeah, man. Free that nigga, man. I hope he's, he get a lawyer and beat that shit, man. Hope something happened with him. Because whoever's seen that first interrogation uh, video, the first one, like he said, it been some months. What we seen when we all seen that first one. What we seen the first one, we seen when he start officers start talking a little bit too much. Like he trying to get this nigga to agree with what the hell he's saying. Officer know he should not be doing that. But see, they got irritated, start confusing their own selves and shit, and slipped up. So yeah, he could put up a motherfucking fight with that shit. Like old boy was saying. And take that shit and run with it and be like, yeah, I just went with the story they said. It's like they coerced me into saying that. Like, they the ones who said that's why I saw. Yeah, I just agree with it. Man, look, bro. Freedom niggas, man. And rest in peace, K So Brother, like I said, man. Niggas done got revenge and shit or whatever the case is. Hey. Sometimes a motherfucking look, police can't get justice, bro. Should police should have been moving fast enough. They should have been on doing their job. They should have been on the ball. They should be on the road. They should be on it. Like ain't no way somebody gets they they brother got killed and then these niggas was able to catch the nigga who killed them before the police do it. Hey, and it's the police job to motherfucking catch the niggas before a fucking person do it. It's police job to catch a nigga, period. Like, yo. Police is crazy, man. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. Shout out to First Coast News. Freedom niggas, man. Gang, gang, I'm out.